Here's the thing about African ancestry. Some scientists say it might be overselling certainty. Sounds controversial, right? Let me explain. Most mainstream DNA tests like 23andMe or Ancestry.com give you broad percentages. 65% Sub-Saharan African, 20% European, 15% other. It's vague, but it reflects the size of their massive databases. African Ancestry does something different. They claim to connect you to a specific African ethnic group, Yoruba, Mende, Igbo, and so on. That's powerful. But here's the catch. The science isn't perfect. Ethnic groups aren't fixed genetic boxes. They've shifted, migrated, and mixed over centuries. And while African Ancestry has one of the largest African-focused reference panels, it's still small compared to the giants. That means there's always a chance your result is probabilistic, not absolute. Some historians and geneticists warn, when you market it as find your tribe, you risk making people believe the science is more exact than it really is. Add to that customer complaints about delays, the $299 price tag, and you've got critics calling it more storytelling than science. But here's the other side. For many black Americans, some answer is better than no answer. Even if it's imperfect, it restores a sense of belonging that slavery erased. So is African ancestry a bold business selling identity or a company pushing a dream that science can't fully deliver? That's the controversy. What do you think?